Hi, welcome to Lecture in Moderation, where we appreciate the finer things in life without going overboard. My name is Joanne, and I upload videos at least once a week, so please subscribe if you'd like to see more content on luxury products. Today, we're doing part two of my quarantine haul from all the online shopping I've been doing since this stay in place order started. So we're starting off with my first order from the Sephora VIP sale. I placed my order on April 21st and they didn't ship it out until May 6th, which is 15 days later. And even though the products did arrive pretty quickly, just a couple days after that, they did take quite a long time for the order to get out the door. So the first item is this Jo Malone English Pear and Freesia Scented Candle. And I've had this candle before and I loved it, so I decided to repurchase this. I was interested in getting another scent from Jo Malone, but I was scared of buying a scent that I didn't love and maybe it was too strong. And sometimes scents that are too strong or just aren't quite right make my head hurt when I burn them for too long. So I was a little bit scared, especially during this period where I can't just go out and return something really easily or I can't go and smell a scent before I buy it. So I decided to play it safe this time and repurchase the scent that I already know. And the second thing from Sephora is this Drunk Elephant TLC Framboo Skycolic Night Serum which has 12% AHA and BHA blend. And the bottle is very beautiful. When I put this in the bathroom, my fiance was like, wow, that's such a fancy bottle. So the bright pink is definitely a standout feature. This is the first full-size Drunk Elephant product that I've purchased. I do have a sample size of the Drunk Elephant Baby Facial Mask, and that worked really well, so I decided to give this a try. And this serum is just a toned down version of that baby facial mask. So while I use the mask about once a week, I can use this serum almost every night. And I think I've definitely seen great results on my skin so far already. I did place a second order during the Sephora VIB sale. And it was the same pattern where they took a very long time to actually ship out the items. I placed my order on April 28th and they didn't ship it out until May 6th, but then it did arrive very quickly. I think only one or two days after. Again, I think they paired with a local shipping company, which I hadn't heard of before. I think all the normal shipping organizations were really bogged down, so they had to find an alternative to deliver these products. So the first item from that second order is this Murad Acne Control Rapid Relief Acne Spot Treatment. And, and I haven't tried this before. Um, I've been using the Clean and Clear Spot Treatment for my acne spots, which has the same active ingredient, 2% salicylic acid, as this Murad one. But I feel like my skin is getting used to the Clean and Clear one, and that hasn't been as effective lately. So I'm gonna try this one when I run out of that one and then hopefully see some good results. And the last product is this Peter Thomas Roth Clinical Skin Care Retinol Infusion PM Night Serum. And this is the first retinol serum that I'm trying. I haven't been very good with keeping up with my anti-aging skincare regimen in the past couple of years. Actually, a few years before that, I was really good about using an anti-aging cream and a serum, and I felt like my skin was doing very well. And then the last couple of years, I haven't been focused on looking at anti-aging serums. So I think now is a good time for me to get back on the train. And I've used this retinol serum for a couple times already, and it tingles when I put it on, so I definitely don't want to do it every night. It does recommend you only use it a couple nights a week. So I am alternating between this Peter Thomas Roth Retinol Serum and the Drunk Elephant Glycolic Serum every other night. So the next product I ordered is this iPhone case from Amazon. And it's mostly clear. It has a design of palm trees on it because I'm really wishing to get away to a beach vacation right now. And I also put this random pop socket on it. 
I don't know where it's from, um, but I wanted a case that was mostly clear so it could show off the red color of my new iPhone SE, which if you haven't seen my unboxing video, I'll link it up here. So this case was $10.99 on Amazon and $11.59 with tax, and it's actually a much better case than I thought it would be. So I thought it was going to be a really thin rubber case, kind of like the one I'm showing on the left here, that just fits around the iPhone snugly. But the clear plastic is actually pretty thick, and it rises above the screen of the iPhone actually quite a bit so that when you set it down face down it can protect the screen very well. So coming back to beauty, I did order from the Jo Malone website because they're having a special deal where if you ordered a certain amount they would gift you a full size hand soap. And one of their hand soaps is $48 so I think you had to purchase maybe a hundred or a hundred and twenty dollars so I thought that was a good gift with purchase value. So the items that I purchased was this Poppy and Barley body and hand wash and I'll probably only use it as a hand wash. And I also bought a lot of soaps with different scents so I could try out and see if I liked these scents. I was interested in some of Jo Malone's other candle scents, but because a candle can be so strong, I just I wanted to try out the scents first as a body soap, which can be less overwhelming in case I didn't like the smell. So I bought the Lime, basil, and mandarin soap. The pomegranate noir soap. And the blackberry and bay hand soap. And the full size hand soap that they were gifting was the English oak and red currant. So here's that one. And these scents are all new to me, so I really hope I like them. And then I did place an order for a makeup launch that I was super excited for, which is the Wayne Goss makeup line. So Wayne Goss just launched a lot of lip products, including lipsticks, lip liners, and lip glosses. And out of the three, I mainly use lipstick. So I decided to purchase a few colors from him. And even though I really don't need to buy any more lipstick because I have a ton already in rotation and a ton in storage, I really wanted to support him because I do think that he's a great makeup artist and a great person and a great YouTuber here on the platform. So I was definitely very excited to try his products. So these are the two lipsticks that I purchased. And it's really beautiful packaging. The lipstick case is a little bit smaller than I think a normal one. So for example, here it is in comparison to the Tom Ford lipstick. You can see it's shorter and smaller. And then here it is in comparison to an Estee Lauder lipstick case. So you can see it's pretty compact. And I got the colors Lily, which I'm wearing in this video. And it's a very beautiful, neutral pink, My Lips But Better color. And then Amaryllis, which is a brighter apricot shade, which I also tried on earlier. So I'll throw in a photo here. But both of them are very comfortable. They almost feel like a lip balm because they're so creamy. And I can see myself wearing these all the time and for them to go with a lot of different makeup looks. Moving on to some fashion picks, I ordered a sweater dress from Theory and it's just an oatmeal colored dress and even though it's not really sweater season and we're going into summer, I do like to wear sweater dresses in the winter so I thought it might be a good time to snap this up during a sale and then wear it next winter. 
So this is the ribbed waist dress in 90% wool and 10% cashmere and it's still available in some sizes on the Theory website and 30% off. So I ordered this dress on May 3rd. It shipped out three days later on May 6th and then arrived just a couple days after that on May 8th. So it was a very quick shipping process. Next, if you saw my first quarantine haul video, you'll know that I ordered from Reese a navy blue dress which did not fit me very well. So I ended up returning that and then placing another order on Reese in order to get a smaller size to see if that smaller size would fit. Well, unfortunately, it still did not fit me right. So my only conclusion is that the cut of the dress just isn't meant for me. But during that second order, I was so happy with the first top that I got from them that I decided to order another top. And this top was much less successful. So it's this knit top, which is asymmetrical and it has sleeves. And the color is supposed to be blush, but when I put it on, it looks like the same color as my skin. So I thought, well, maybe if I wore it with a dark colored pant, it could show the contrast more. But when I put on dark colored pants, it actually made the top look worse. And it just made me look like I was part of this shapeless blob. So this is another fail from Reese, and I will be returning this top as well as the smaller navy blue dress. So this is called the Merrill top, and you can see here that it really doesn't do my skin tone any favors. And I'm not even quite sure how this shirt is going to fit, but it's still on sale now if you think it'll work for you. I don't know if I should give up on Reese yet. I do own a couple items from them which I really love, but all of these fails make me think that maybe I really shouldn't shop with them online at least. And finally, I placed an order on the Lulu's website, which is the first time I've ever ordered from them, so I had no idea what to expect, but they were having a 30% off dress sale, and I am a sucker for dresses, so I decided to try it out and I was very pleasantly surprised. So this dress that I'm wearing here in this video is from Lulu and it's very comfortable. And then I also bought this white dress that has some lace detailing on the middle and at the bottom. And then the last dress that I bought from them is this black wrap dress. And it looks like a polka dot design, but it's actually little triangles. So all of the material is pretty thick. So I think that's a good sign for the material that they use. But the sizing for them is also not that consistent. I bought the white dress in a small and it fits me pretty well. And then the black wrap dress and this blue one I bought in an XS. And this blue one fits very well but the black wrap dress actually feels kind of big on me. So I don't know if it's just the cut of that dress or the style, but that one definitely feels like a small or a medium on me. I don't think that it's overwhelming my figure too much, so I don't think I'll return it, but it's definitely something to know when shopping with them. This is the Be My Darling Navy Blue Crochet Lace Sleeveless Midi Dress and you can see the beautiful detailing all the way down. This is the In The Name Of Love White Crochet Lace Trumpet Midi Dress and you can see it has some nice straps on the back in a V-shape. And this is the Farah Black Print Midi Wrap Dress. And it's a true wrap dress where you have the strings that you have to thread through the side and tie. And you can see that the silhouette is definitely much larger on me than the other two. And for this Lulu's order, I placed the order on May 5th and they shipped it out on May 8th. And then it took seven days for it to arrive on May 15th. So I wouldn't say it's the fastest shipping, but maybe normal shipping from them. 
Well, thank you so much for watching this quarantine haul. And I hope some of this shipping information or sizing or quality information has been useful to you. And I think I am probably done with online shopping for a little bit. I've definitely, you know, made a lot of purchases and waiting for these shipments to come has been exhausting. So I'm definitely glad that I got these in finally and I'm able to share it with you all. Please let me know in the comments below which items you are excited to see and like this video if you like these types of hauls. Please also remember to subscribe and I can't wait to see you in the next video. Bye!